The new battery pack that it's speculated will very likely go into the next Tesla Model Y, the Juniper version, the LFP or lithium ion phosphate battery manufactured by CATL. It's just recorded a, well, it's broken the record, the world record for charging speed. I'm staggered. If this battery does go into the new Model Y, which in fact, almost everyone believes it will now based on reports coming out of China, then the new Model Y would have potentially 540 kilowatt charging speed. Geely, who manufactured the Zika 001, it's an electric car which is now sold in Europe, and it's going to be sold in many places worldwide by the end of this year. Well, we've just seen this is the fastest charging electric car in the world. It's using CATL's new battery called the Shenzhen battery, and the charging speed, well, is truly staggering. I mean, we, we, we're thinking to ourselves, right? You know, maybe in five years, we're going to see charging speeds of uh, 10 minutes to charge your battery. Well, we're already there. Uh, this has been proven. This is not fake. It's not some sort of um, fictitious report. The new Zika 001 with this battery can charge in 11 minutes. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the Electric Viking. Great to see you. The Zika 001. It's one of my favorite electric cars. I honestly don't understand all the hype about this new Xiaomi car. I, I really am skeptical. One reason, 100,000 pre-orders in apparently about 27 hours. So 89,000 orders in 24 hours. Yeah, uh, the Xiaomi SU7 EV, right? It, it, it sounds impressive. It looks impressive. It's got a lot of orders. But Xiaomi have never made an electric car before. Never. Uh, there's a problem as well. All of those orders are refundable deposits refundable now in china the only company that is reporting an actual reservation which is refundable is xiaomi they're the only car company in china which has actually gone and done this it's basically considered not you don't do this so xiaomi went no we don't care and we're just going to make it sound really great and it's going to get a lot of people to buy because a lot of people are going to think oh well there's reservations but every single one of those hundred thousand reservations is actually refundable well, now Xiaomi is saying, oh, we've been criticized but for doing this. So yeah, all right, we have 30,000 reservations that um, people are going to go follow through with. So there's a bit of a question what's going on there. But Zika, the new 001, it's a real car, been out for years, been tested by journalists. It's a really good vehicle. Uh, it's just been improved. Zika improving it year after year. And this actually has 30,000 pre-orders for this model. These are not refundable deposits, by the way. They're legitimate orders. And this new model is, you can see why. It's able to charge in the real world at 540 kilowatt. Truly staggering. The Zika 001, which now has a CATL Shenzhen 95 kilowatt hour super rechargeable battery pack, can charge from 10 to 80% in 11 minutes. Um, 473 kilometers of range. So, you know, 300 miles of range can be added to the battery pack in 11 minutes. This feat was achieved using a Zika V3, so version three supercharger. It is capable of 600 kilowatt charging speeds, has an ambient temperature of 26 degrees Celsius when the charging was done. So it was a fairly warm day, uh, which probably helped, but preconditioning the battery um, would enable the, the battery to charge at that speed anyway. It doesn't make much difference. Peak charging speed. The peak of this battery pack, the CATL pack, was 546 kilowatts. So 546 kilowatts, which is now the current world record. And this is not a, a test vehicle. This is a car you can go and order. Now, personally, I don't understand, like I said, the Xiaomi car or this, which one would you buy? Uh, this isn't, you know, it's only a little bit more expensive. In my opinion, it's a much, much better car, much nicer car made by a known company, Geely, uh, the parent company. They've been making cars for, well, for decades now. I really love this car, and I've said that many times. The 001 uh, apparently maintained charging power of over 540 kilowatt from 10 to 35%. So for about one third of the charging phase, it maintained charging speeds of over 540 kilowatt. That means that it actually added 264 kilometers of range 
uh, to the battery in five minutes, 264 kilometers. And the future is really here. These numbers are truly staggering. In 10 minutes, the number was 432 kilometers. The new CATL Shenzhen battery has temperature control technology to achieve insanely fast charging across a range of temperatures, says Car News China. Even with the temperature, ambient temperature outside of around about minus 10 Fahrenheit, about minus 10 Celsius, it can be charged to 80% in 30 minutes. So yeah, charging speed is slower when it's minus 10 degrees, but still being able to charge to 80% in 30 minutes and in those temperatures is really quite an amazing feat. Zika aims to build 1,000 ultra-fast V3 supercharging stations, which can charge at up to 600 kilowatt charging speeds this year, to the current 900 existing Zika operated charging stations, which have 2,483 charges rated at 360 kilowatt. And they have a total of, I mean, Zika have a total of 5,500 individual charges in China really gives you an interesting insight, it doesn't it, to what's going on in China with 900 existing charging stations or two and a half thousand existing fast chargers just for this one brand, capable of 360 kilowatt charging speeds. And that's just one charging network and there's many, many charging networks in China. You can really see why EVs are going crazy over there. In addition to that, we know the Zika 001 has pretty good software. Its ADAS has even been upgraded over the last few months for this new model. It gets a boost thanks to the addition of a roof-mounted LiDAR unit. The car has an 800 volt platform, as you would expect with these kinds of incredible charging speeds. The wheelbase is six millimeters longer than the previous car, uh, really basically the same. It's a three meter long wheelbase, a pretty long wheelbase. This car has a lot of interior space. It's kind of like a station wagon. I mean, it's technically a crossover, but yeah, it's a very practical shaped car. Now, interestingly, there is actually a different battery pack in a different version of this car. The Shenzhen battery though, I should point out, is a lithium iron phosphate battery. So the, the, the Achilles heel of lithium iron phosphate batteries is slower charging. It's always been, look, look at BYD's charging for their LFP. Look at Tesla's charging for LFP. It's much slower than uh, NCM or NCA chemistries um, in, you know, ternary battery packs traditionally have had much faster charging. It's not really the case anymore considering the fastest charging battery in the world is LFP. You can get another version of the 001, which has a 100 kilowatt hour cheering battery. That's an NCM battery. So that's yeah, a nickel cobalt manganese battery. It has higher energy density. Um, therefore, it will give the Zika 001 1,000 kilometers of range, 1,000 kilometers. So this is the battery pack that people have been speculating for a while now would be going into the Tesla Model Y. Well, we originally thought it'd be the Tesla Model 3. That didn't happen because CATL was not mass manufacturing these batteries in time for the new Tesla Model 3 to arrive. But the Tesla Model Y, we believe it's likely this is the battery pack that will go into that vehicle, which would be capable of these insane charging speeds. Considering uh, Tesla buys about 20 times more batteries from CATL than Geely do, uh, or than, you know, Zika do, you would think that Tesla's, um, you know, would be a priority for CATL and that they would likely be getting these batteries in the new Model Y. Now that's what I think will happen, but I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching.